हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट अ पर्सन ऑफ मास एम वन हु इज नीलिंग ऑन अ प्लाईवुड पैनल ऑफ मास एम टू विश इज टू पुश हिमसेल्फ एंड द पैनल अवे फ्रॉम द राइट हैंड वॉल राइट सो दिस पर्सन वॉन्ट्स टू पुश हिमसेल्फ अलॉन्ग विद Uh, this plywood on which he is resting right towards the left and it is said that determine a condition on mu2 which would allow him to do this is opposed to his slipping relative to a stationary panel the two applicable coefficients of static frictions are mu1 and mu2 so mu1 is the coefficient of static friction between the m1 and the plywood upper surface and mu2 is the coefficient of static friction between the plywood's uh, lower surface and the and the floor right and it is given that mu1 is equal to 0.60 and the mass of the main is 80 kg and the mass of the plywood is 10 kg right so we have to determine mu2 for which the m1 and m2 both will slip towards the left right so now uh, what we will do is that we will draw a free body diagram right so let's say that the ma mass m1 the the main the body of the main is let's say represented by this large rectangle and let's say that this is that m1 right and let's say that the this is that plywood and the mass of this plywood is m2 right so now this main is pushing himself so what what does this mean is that he is applying the force on his body right so this is that p force right so if he is pushing himself towards the left so what will happen is that there will be a friction force between this plywood surface and his body right so we will have a friction force here and this friction force will be equal to mu n1 let's say and n1 is the normal force applied by the plywood on this on his body right so we will have that n1 here so this will be n1 this is that n1 right and since this main has its weight right so that weight will be acting vertically downward right like this and this will be equal to m1 g right and similarly as a reaction uh, the body of the main will apply the same normal force on this plywood in the downward direction right so we will have that same n1 force here downward which will be acting downward like this so this is that same n1 force and in the problem statement it is said that if the main wants to push himself plus that plywood towards the left right so if this plywood will move towards the left so what will happen is that there will be a friction force on this plywood towards the right as well right so we will have that friction force here as well right and this lower surface this floor will apply the force the normal force on this plywood as well in the upward direction so let's say this is that n2 then this friction force will be equal to mu2 and 2 since the coefficient of static friction between these two surfaces is mu2 and here we will have mu1 and 1 right since the static uh, coefficient of static friction between the the main body and the plywood is mu1 right so now if if i apply the if i consider the mass m1 and if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 for this body right so then as we can see that this n1 is acting in the positive y direction if this is our positive x and y direction then n1 is acting in the positive y direction and this weight is acting in the downward direction so this is minus m1g and this is equal to 0 and we can say that n1 is equal to m1g right and here this plywood has its own mass as well and that's that mass is acting vertically downward here as well right so let me represent that right so this is that weight which is acting vertically downward so i am showing it on this side right relatively like this so this will be m2 g right so now if if i consider 
the plywood that is mass m2 and again if I apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. So, now as we can see that this n2 is acting in the positive y direction, this n1 is acting in the negative y direction and this weight is acting in the negative y direction. So, this will be equal to 0 and we can say that n2 is equal to n1 plus m 2 g and n 1 is equal to this thing right. So, we can say that n 1 is equal to m 1 g plus m 2 g and we can say that n 2 is equal to m 1 plus m 2 g right. Now, for mass m 2 if I apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0. So, as we can see that uh, this mu n 1 since this friction is between these two surfaces right. So, if if this plywood offers a friction of mu 1 and 1. So, the same friction force will be applied by the by m 1 on this plywood as well right. So, we will have that same friction in the opposite direction here as well right. So, this will be that same mu and 1 friction here as well. So, now if we apply the summation of forces along x. So, we can see that this mu 2 and 2 is acting in the positive x direction and this is acting in the negative x direction this is equal to 0. So, this we can say that this mu 2 and 2 is let us say f 2 friction force which is the friction force between the plywood and the floor and this one is f 1 it is the friction force between the plywood upper surface and the and the body of the main right. So, this is that f 1. So, now if I if I write it like this, this is this is what this is f 2 and this is f 1. So, f 2 minus f 1 and this is equal to 0. So, f 2 equals to f 1 if this is the case then the whole system will remain at rest and and neither the body of the main will move or neither the plywood will, will move right. And now, since we want to have uh, both m 1 and m 2 in in motion towards the left right. We want to have that motion towards the left, but the combined motion of m 1 and m 2. So, for that case what what we need to do is that we need to have that f 2 friction less than f 1 right. So, then in this particular case what will happen is that m 1 and m 2 they will move uh, towards the left right. And in the problem statement we are required that uh, he wishes to push himself and the panel away from the right hand wall right. So, this means that if, if this is the case f 2 is less than f 1. So, I can write that f 2 is less than f 1. So, f 2 is mu 2 and 2 I can write that this is mu 2 and 2 and this should be less than mu 1 and 1 right since we are applying these for the equilibrium condition right. So, all these equations will will only be applied until and unless the system is at rest right. So, for this condition the both m 1 and m 2 will move towards the left right. So, now we can say we can write that mu 2 is less than mu 1 and 1 divided by n 2 and mu 2 should be less than mu 1 and n 1 is we know n 1 is m 1 g right. So, I will write that this is m 1 g and mu 2 is m 1 plus m 2 g. So, this is m 1 plus m 2 g and g will cancel out right. So, we will be left with this equation. So, now if I put values in so mu 2 is less than mu 1 is given which is 0 0.6. So, I will write 0 0.6 the mass of the main is 80 kg and again we have m 1 plus m 2. So, m 1 is 80 this is given here right m 1 is 80 and m 2 is 10. So, when we solve this so this equals to this equals to 0 0.533 right this is 0 0.6 into 80 divided by 90. So, this is equal to 0 0.533. So, from this we can say that mu 2 is less than 0 0.533.
So, what does this mean is that if the coefficient of static friction is less than 0.533, so both m1 and m2 will move towards the left, right? And if mu2 is equal to 0 0.533, so both m1 and m2 will remain at rest, right? So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this particular problem. Kindly subscribe my channel if you want me to solve such more problems. Also like this video if you people think that it helps in your learning.